Hello, Virgo. How are you guys? Hope you're doing well. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, May 18th to the 31st, 2020. I am using the Morgan Greer tarot deck for you guys. And if you like the reading, Virgo, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you get notified of when I post your reading. And those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram for live weekly readings. Links to everything you guys need are right below the video. way to start the reading. Chariot, sign of cancer. Page of swords. I've done Taurus and Gemini the birthday season, you know. And that has been out for all three of you so far. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, woman. Most likely a Cancer. Knight of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Empress. Aries, Taurus, female. Interesting. Wow, in the world. Your overall energy for the next two weeks. Hierophant, sign of Taurus. Wow, when the fool is at the bottom of the deck. It, guys, like, holy crap. You have, you have some major, big, big changes coming in for you this month. Five major arcana cards. Hierophant, Chariot, Empress, the World, the Fool. Some of you are definitely starting down a new path, going in a different direction, starting something new. The Hierophant as your overall energy. I definitely feel like some of you are getting a new job starting your own business. If you're getting a new job, some of you definitely need to travel for this job. If it's a new position, you might have to travel like pretty far. But it also represents marriage, commitment, relationships. So for some of you, you could be getting into a new relationship. Some of you could be getting married. Committing more to your partner. And definitely some of you are, could definitely be dealing with a cancer woman. That could be important. But with the chariot, I feel like definitely travel is important to a lot of you. Those of you that aren't physically traveling, this is you starting down a new path. With the Fool, the Chariot. Especially if you're a Virgo, dealing with a Cancer or have Cancer in your chart. And, and you have the world. 
So you're absolutely moving forward, probably closing a, a chapter, a phase within your life. You're in control totally with moving forward. This is, you know, you successfully making it. Ultimate victory and success card. And I definitely feel like some of you have dealt with delays, very slow moving energy in the past with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely delays with communication. I do think for a lot of you, things have been progressing very, very slowly, really taking its sweet ass time. But I think the first week, you're definitely going to start to see things you know, moving definitely a lot quicker than they have been. And, you know, this night is the only night that always reaches their goal. And being under the chariot, there is big time success. And many of you are focused on the future with the Eight of Cups. You really are. The fool. You're very focused on the future and moving forward. And I feel like, Virgo, this new path you're starting down is a very good one. Whether it's work, like a new career path, or you're getting into a, a more committed relationship. However you resonate with this reading... I do feel strongly it, 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 it's a good one. You're leaving something behind that's just no longer serving you. And you're moving forward. The Empress and the world together. What an amazing combination. Successfully making it. Successfully completing a chapter. Both of these cards together are beyond a blessed energy. This new path that you're on, I do feel like is going to bring you a lot of abundance, so much happiness, growth, stability. So for those of you that it is work, starting your own business, it's, it, it's going to be absolutely positive, rewarding for you. And it's literally what you're moving towards. And again, I see major success with this. Absolutely, this could be a relationship or career. I do see some of you making long distance moves. If things are still delayed, it is because of the situation the world is in. Some of you making this long distance move that is going to be extremely good for you. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could have water in your, or air in your chart. This person could be coming in to see you. They definitely have something to say. For some of you, you could be going to see this person. And others of you are definitely getting, get, are getting impatient. And, you know, with the world, you know, even though it's such a beautiful, blessed energy, it is a card of a process and some of you are definitely still in this process but I do strongly feel the second week the energy is really going to pick up the pace for you things are going to start happening more suddenly with this knight of swords things are definitely going to pick up the pace Definitely starting down a new path. Those of you that are getting into a new relationship. 
Some of you could be getting married. Others of you could be getting pregnant. Especially if you're a woman that wants to get pregnant. The second week is a great time for that. For that to work out for you. Uh, others of you could literally be giving birth this week. And if that's the case, congratulations. Just a Virgo, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful spread. Healing with the angels. I haven't used these in forever. Virgo. I just see and feel new beginnings for those of you that really resonate with this. If you know you're starting a new beginning, starting something new, then this reading is definitely for you. No way. I can't believe because Because, you know, my nose is like so itchy. Unbelievable. Here's you. Maybe your air sign is an Aquarius with the star. You. Some of you, it is definitely a relationship. Two of Cups. Spending more time together. Traveling together. Moving in together. You're definitely taking a leap of faith. I'm so glad I decided to do that at the last minute. If you are dealing with a woman, or you are this woman, both of you are taking, both of you are literally on the same page and taking a, a risk, a leap of faith, making more of a, a bigger commitment. And that's a, very much a soulmate energy there, Virgo. You could be leaving a cancer. To be with an Aquarius. A Libra, Gemini, really. Okay, this jumped right out of the deck. Only right in the upright. Wow, friendship. Interesting. So... So those of you that it is love, you are focused on that relationship, on that friendship, and it is deep. It is deep. Those of you that it's work, career, you need to stay focused, stay in control with the chariot. For others of you, a friendship, relationship, very, very important. You know, even with the Empress here, this could even have something to do with a relationship with the, your mother. Like a motherly figure in, that's in your life. You know, any kind of mother. But this feels very special to me. With friendship, I feel like you've known this person before. Like you, you already know them. Interesting, but wow, that turned out pretty amazing. Absolutely love it, Virgo. So please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys back here very soon. Take care, guys.